Hi everyone, hope you are doing good. Welcome back to Camera Than Coffee, where we answer the questions of our fellow creators. And today we are listing and comparing the specs of Fujifilm X-E4 and Fujifilm X-S10. Fujifilm X-E4 is a rangefinder style, easy to carry, fun to use kind of camera. And on the other hand, X-S10 is a cross between X-T30 and X-H1. Let's have a look at some of their powerful specs. Both cameras have the same 26.1 megapixel APS-C image sensor, which delivers sharp and good quality images. Adding to the quality, both the cameras have 18 film simulations to choose from, which is one of the best aspects of Fujifilm. Speaking of images, the camera outputs both JPEG and RAW file formats. When looking at the ISO, both have the same 160 to 12800 ISO which is expandable to 51200, giving a good low light performance. Much like the image quality, both cameras are good with their autofocus features, especially the eye detect autofocus and subject tracking. Thanks to the intelligent hybrid autofocus with 425 phase detection autofocus points that track a subject across the frame. Now one of the biggest difference between both the cameras is the stabilization. While the X-E4 has no stabilization, the X-S10 has a 5-axis in-body image stabilization with sensor shift mechanism. And not just that, both cameras have different screens as well. X-C4 has a 3-inch 180-degree tilting touchscreen with 1.62 million dots, whereas the x 10 has a 3-inch fully articulated touchscreen with 1.04 million dots. And then comes electronic viewfinder. Both cameras have a 0.39-inch 2.36 million dots EVF. But the difference is, on x 4 it's on the left side and on x 10 it's in the middle. Now before we move on to the video specs, let's have a quick look at some small yet important specs that matter a lot. Cool, now let's have a look at the video specs. Both cameras can record DCI 4K and USD 4K up to 30 frames per second with a recording limit of up to 30 minutes. And both cameras can record full HD 1080p video up to 240 frames per second with a recording limit of 3 minutes. While the cameras record 8-bit internally, they can record 10-bit on an external recorder. And not to forget, they both can record in F-Log 8-bit internally and 10-bit externally. They do have a 3.5mm stereo mini connector for microphone, but they don't have a dedicated headphone port. There is a headphone adapter included which connects to the camera's USB-C port and lets you monitor recording or listen to the footage during playback. And both these cameras have the capability to live stream. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you have any other queries related to cameras, you can drop it in the comments and we'll be happy to answer them. And if the video was helpful, do support us by subscribing.